You know, folks can say a lot of things about me um, in terms of the way I communicate things or my abrasiveness, my abruptness, my rough around the edges persona, uh, my apt towards uh, crude humor, maybe. Um, yeah. But I will say this. I am reasonably sound theologically. When it comes down to it, I'm reasonably sound theologically. Uh, I, I don't believe in proof texting. Uh, I don't believe in taking things out of their context. I mean, when you proof text, that's, that's usually when you're taking, you pull a verse out of the Bible to make it mean what you want it to mean, okay? You can't take Scripture out of its context and just apply meaning to it, all right? Uh, for instance, you know, the Bible says in the Psalms, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Well, if I take the phrase out, there is no God, I could say, you know, the Bible says there is no God. All right, that's, that's, that's proof texting right there. That's taking it out of its context. Um, you, you know, I believe in exegesis, taking what's in the Scripture out of the Scripture, not eisegesis, where you read your opinions into it. This is eisegesis, okay? This is when she says, you have called yourself he, she, they, them. No, 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 no. You know, the one who identifies as God. God, God is God. That's why he called himself I Am. Moses had the audacity in the front of a burning bush that was not consumed to say, what is your name? And God responded by saying, I am. In other words, there's no name. There's just an ever-present, omniscient, omnipotent uh, being that is transcendent to all things you see. I am. I'm not I was. I'm not I will be. I am. I am ever-present. I am now. I am not I will be, I'm not they, I'm not them, I am. So when you take the English language and its ability to, you know, talk about the, the first person, second person, third person in reference to someone, you know, this, God wasn't dealing in pronouns as we do with the English language. God wasn't talking, he was talking about his being. He wasn't talking about identifying him. That's why when Jesus said to the religious leaders in his day, when they said, you know, they were, they were uh, quizzing him about whether or not he was claiming to be God, they didn't crucify him for being a great teacher. They crucified him on the grounds of blasphemy because he claimed to be God. When he said, before Abraham was, I am. That, that made their jaw hit the floor right there. So before Abraham was I am, he basically called himself Yahweh, which is the tetragrammaton, the, the Y-H-W-H, if you take the vowels out as the Jews did, because God, you know, G-D, or, or you take the vowels out because the name was too holy to be, even be spoken. This was about a being. This was about an existence. This was about the presence of who this being is, not an identifier as a pronoun. That's why, that's why you know, in the, in the Hebrew or in the Greek language, the Old Testament written in the Hebrew, uh, the New Testament written in the Greek, you have the, um, the masculine uh, modifiers that are there as pronouns to talk about God, but there's also very feminine things that are used to describe God as well. Talking about, you know, who, who hides his people under his wing, you know, that, that's a very feminine trait, talking about nesting and nursing. So, so when you talk about God being a man, God is not a man and God is not a woman. God is God. God is God. He transcends your understanding and our finite ability to describe something that we have no cognitive ability to grasp. So when you start doing stuff like this, this is the height of blasphemy. This is when you start putting God, these are anthropomorphic terms, okay? Anthropos, man, morph, to, to change into. You're changing God into man. This is, as Chris said off air before, he said, this is taking God's name in vain. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.